Hello, my name is Vortex Warp, and welcome to the first command block tutorial on my channel. Today, we are, I'm going to be showing you how to make a lifetime in a minute scoreboard, which displays the time since last death of every, every player on single player survival or multiplayer worlds. So for this, you're going to need a few things. The first thing you're going to need is access to your spawn chunks, as this is where you're going to be placing these four commands which are running around the clock. You'll place these at bedrock level and you will case them with bedrock um, so no one can access them. You also need to be opt on your server, so you need to um, be able to go into creative and also you must be opt, so that must be happening. But if you've got those things, then you should be able to start. So what you first need to do is give yourself some command blocks. That's what these things are and they're used to set up the commands. So this is the command block. I've got one over here. Um, to give yourself one of these, you type slash give and then your player name, so vortex swap. Then you type Minecraft and you can press tab to auto complete and then command underscore block. And you will get given one of these, as you can see in the chat there. So now we're going to have to set up four commands. So remember to put these in, these will be in the description. In this order, one, two, three, four, they'll be labeled in that order. And as you can see, the commands are in here. I'm just going to press these buttons, oops, and it should have set up these commands. And now we come over to these four command blocks. We can now delete these command blocks if we desire, um, and we can set up these ones. So you need to make sure you are facing south, um, and then you need to place down a command block like this. Then you need to look in here and change it to repeat needs redstone. And that will end up like that and then paste in the command labeled number five in there then place another command against that and change it to chain always active and paste the command in there labeled number six then we need to come to the left and do the same so place another one repeat needs redstone and then against it chain always active then place two and paste um Command number seven and command number eight into that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, command number seven in here, command number eight in here. And now it's set up, just put two levers on the back. Make sure to cover it in bedrock at the bottom of your world. All you need to do now is um, press these. And as you see in our tab menu, we've got the number there. And if we just flick these levers, that flicks up to one. And that will slowly go up. So what I'm going to do is come over here and change this to 120, change this to 120, so it will go 10 times faster, so it will go every 6 seconds instead of every 60 seconds, so you should see that tick up, so it's already be 5, then 6, and that will just keep ticking up, so I'm going to set this back to what it's supposed to be, and whenever you die, this will now reset, if I just show you by killing myself, so it's at 6 now, and if I type slash kill, kills me and it resets back to zero and this will work with multiple players on your server so this is a really easy and cool thing to implement as it allows to see how well each player is doing and it won't count up if they're not online so now that you set up this um you're completely done you just need to destroy these command blocks cover these in bedrock at the bottom of your world so you'd go right down to the bottom and place them at the bedrock level and now I'm going to explain how the commands actually work. Start with the scoreboard lifetime ticks. This is a scoreboard that measures the time since the death of a player. Um, and it adds that scoreboard and it's called lifetime ticks. But obviously we don't want to measure it in ticks. And there's 20 ticks in a second. So we want to measure that in minutes. So we create a dummy scoreboard called lifetime minutes. And we will use those command blocks to count this one up whenever this one goes up. Now we come over to deaths for lifetime. We need a deaths to lifetime scoreboard that records the death count. So whenever that goes up, it resets our lifetime minute scoreboard. So now we've got that, I need to clear the weather and we need to check out these commands. This command will execute first. And what this does is whenever deaths for lifetime is for any player is greater than one, one or greater, it will reset. It will reset lifetime minutes. So whenever you die, you will no longer have been alive for any minutes, so it will go back to zero. And then it will reset 
like deaths for lifetime, so it goes back to zero, so it won't continuously be doing that. Then it will execute this command block here, and um, whenever a player has had um, has been online for 1,200 ticks, um, then it will put your lifetime minute score up by one. So every minute, your score will go up by one that you've been online, and then it will reset your lifetime minute score so it doesn't continuously do that. So that's the basic premise. It actually works. And if you've got any questions, remember to leave them down in the comments below. Also, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name's been Vortex Swap, and a short but simple video has sadly come to an end. See you in the next one. Goodbye.